guys, this is Nana J from Nana's Corner, and today I want to show you how to make these envelopes to use for an advent calendar. This is the first video of a series of, that I'm going to do to show you um, different ways of making advent calendars. Mine I'm doing actually for a swap for a group that I'm in, but you can also uh, use them for your kids, your grandkids, um, put them in a little box or you can hang them um, yeah, as a banner. There's different ways you can use them and I'll go through that at another in another video. But um, let's get started with this. It's very easy, simple. I'm going to use my envelope punch and this one is by We Are Memory Keepers, and if you're interested after you can see what it can do, I'll give you a link to where you can uh, purchase one. Okay, so for what the, for this envelope, we're going to use a six and a half by six and a half piece of craft cardstock. You can do them any size you want. The envelope punch makes different sizes, and uh, for my particular swap, we're doing a three by four and a half inch envelope, or a little bit bigger than that. Was the, that was the minimum? Um, we're going to be mailing them, so um, if you don't want to use cardstock, you don't have to. But you just afterwards, we're going to put a little something inside. So let's get started. For this, you use you're going to take your six and a half, and you're going to put it on the two and three quarter mark which it has the things right there and then you punch and with the tool that comes with it you just follow the line down and then from then on there's no more measuring you just line up your score line with the little pokey thing right there punch and score turn it line up your score line punch and score. Turn it one more time, line it up, punch and score. And then if you want, there is a little piece back here. You can stick your flaps in there and you can round them. You don't have to, it's just optional. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Just guess depends on what kind of mood I'm in. And then we're done with the punch tool. Save your little pieces that come out, because in another video I'll show you how to make flowers with them. You never, never, never throw anything away. Okay, then you just want to crease on your score lines, get a real good crease so that you can get a nice crisp fold and it will be easier. And if you're a little off on your scores, that's fine. You just flatten it out and it'll work. And there's different ways you can do it with this envelope. You can make it with those out. Put them in. You can even, if you wanted to, make the envelope long ways. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. And I'm going to put my big one on the outside. So, what you want to do is take some glue. And I'm getting a, such a thin line is because I'm using a fine liner. I take my glue and put it in here, and I found that I'm wasting lots less glue. And you can get small spots if you need to. And then... Press it down good. Make sure they're stuck. You can use score tape on here too if you want. Sometimes I do that. 
but lately I've just been on a wet glue. I don't know, it's kind of chilly in the room I'm at, so I might have to switch to some score tape. Let's see, let me put a little bit more on here. And press it down real good. It's heavier cardstock that I'm using too, so. Am I in? Can you see? decorate the front. So this is what I did on this one. And I got these little uh, numbers from a pad. It's Recollections All Seasons from Hobby Lobby. Can you see that? But you can use any kind of numbers. You can write them on there. You can use stickers, whatever you have. Just use what's in your stash. Um, I happen to have these, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. And there are, they come up to 25, which what you need for an advent calendar. 1 through 25 for the days up in December up till Christmas. And it even gave you some Merry Christmas. Seasons greetings. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now, I've got my decorative paper here, and you don't have to use decorative paper if you don't want. Oh, I'm a little off on my cup. Um, you can just washi tape, you can stamp on it, you can decorate it however you want. But for this one, I just, I'm going to use some. Christmas paper that I have from my stash that I need to use up. I'm going to go ahead and trim this off a little bit. Okay, let's see. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Hmm, actually, could have used a little bit more off. And then I'm, on here I have a little trim that I'm going to use, and I got this from the Dollar Spot at Michael's. It's red and white, got the little measuring, so I'm, I'm going to use this little red. We just want a little bit longer than here. And what I like to do is take on here, take my score tape, and just put it across the back. Are you able to see that? Sorry about that, guys. I'm new at this videoing, so I'm going to take a little bit to get used to keeping it in there. In my eyes, I try to, I gotta, gotta be close. So, put that score tape across there and make sure it's down good. And now I just use a little pokey to take the the pokey tool to take the backing off and then you take and you take one end of your ribbon and stick a little bit on that back edge and you turn it around make sure it's where you want it turn it over and then stick that back part onto your score tape you can use double-sided tape too if you like that. And then we're going to also, this time I think I'm going to use some a glue stick instead of the wet glue and I'm just going to put some on here. There. This 
press it down real good. Make sure it sticks. And get it to the edge. Use a little glue here. Must have missed that bottom part. Sorry about that scratching. There's a little needle up on there that it comes out of that keeps it real fine. There we go. Alright, and on this one, what I did was I just rounded the corners of a piece of white cardstock to fit my number, whatever type of number you're using. And then I glued them together and used uh, the little sticky pop tops to put it onto the card. But I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a punch and make it round to keep it a little different. Since we use the same type of Christmas paper. I'm going to take a one and a half inch punch, a scalloped punch, and punch out a circle. Then I'm going to take a one inch round punch and kind of center my number in there. Punch it out. And I'm going to glue that onto there. Mm -hmm. and just put that in the center. You don't have to use pop dots, you can just put it on there, and I think maybe this time that's what I'll do. So it's a little different from the first one, since they're going to the same person. So this time I'm going to just put some glue on the back of here. Line it up where I want it. Let's see, let me do this one in the center. And then glue that onto there. And then you can add anything else you want. You can put bling on there, stickers, however you want to do it. And you have your envelope to put a little surprise in there. Maybe some stickers or some trim for your crafty buddies or for your grandkids you could put little treats in there you can write a letter you can put a coupon in there for um, maybe a night out with you um, hot cocoa and a movie just anything you want one for each day of the week to count down to Christmas and then you can put it close it up you can either put it inside or you can seal it with a another sticker and that's pretty much it and then you just go ahead and you make them for the 1 through 25 and you're all set well hope you like this video if you did please subscribe and give it a like give me a thumbs up and I'll be back with more ways to make different advent calendars thanks guys bye